welcome back to my kitchen my rules as it turns out you people have opinions about things and you have lots of requests that you like to make and after i made my margaritas for Sanco de mayo and showcased the fact that i do still have my bartender's rolodex it snuck out of my mouth that i was using store-bought sour mix because i had not had a chance to make any of my own and so then i got several some requests that said well, how can you tell us how to make your sour mix if it's so good, Missy? So, all right, here you go. So now why am I fixing it right now? Because frankly, it's about to get nice outside. And you know you need sour mix for like so many things, Long Island iced tea or margaritas, amaretta sour, whiskey sour. I mean, you can use it for a lot of things. So it's really good when you make it yourself. It doesn't take you but a minute. So this is super easy. Here's what you need. You need two cups of water or one cup if you want to cut this in half. Now I'm making two cups because we're going to use it up, frankly, around here because quarantine is about to work my nerves and now I can show houses again. So now I get to mix in working with being at home. And so we're going to add to that two cups of water, two cups of sugar. So if you're a math genius, I challenge you to now figure out how much sugar you need if you use one cup of water see and y'all said you couldn't do math you learned something back in school so now we're going to cut the burner on to medium to medium high i'm using a six out of a ten i've lived my life that way right <laughs> so anyway we're going to heat this up and stir it until the sugar is dissolved so basically you're making a simple syrup for some of y'all that's what you do to feed the hummingbirds right you're making that now while that's heating up we are going to juice the heck out of some lemons and some limes. Now, how many, friends? Well, with the way I've always fixed it, I do eight lemons and eight limes. And now you could do more or less or whatever you feel like. I frankly don't really care what you do at your house because that's your kitchen, your rules, right? And of course, I'm using my trusty little Pampered Chef juicer here. Now, if you happen to buy some lemons that aren't all the way right with some limes that look a little sketch, if you roll it around on the countertop, it'll loosen up the juices. But this is a time to buy the ones that are reps to roll because you're gonna have a lot of juicing to do here. And you can also put them in the microwave for just a quick second to heat it up. And I mean like seven seconds, and that loosens up the juice as well. So maybe if you have problem juicing or you're having to do it by hand, you don't have this handy little tool here. And what we're looking for here is not Sprite, in fact, that's one of my favorite jokes of all time is the late Mitch Hedberg is a real good comedian. I don't know if y'all remember him, but he made some commentary about how they say on the Sprite label that is just lemon and lime. And he said, I'm pretty sure there's something more to it than that. And there is because actually ours won't be too far off if you add that soda stream machine to things. I reckon you could put some bubbles in your lemon and lime that we're juicing right here. But anyway, what we're looking for is two cups of juice. So your basic recipe is a one to one to one to one. But for me, I do a two to two to two. And that's about how tart we like it. So you can make it your own way. Somebody had mentioned in my commentaries that they get the heartburn from some store-bought sour mix, which is probably something to do with the preservatives or the kind of citrus they're using. If it's real, concentrate, you know, what have you. I don't know, but make your own, friends. It doesn't take you but a few minutes. Lemons and limes aren't that pricey, if you get them on sale, that is. And we actually planted a lemon tree. Tim wanted to grow one. I don't know if a lemon tree is gonna grow in North Carolina or not, but I imagine we fixed them to find out. So we're four pieces of citrus in. Our sugar is halfway dissolved. And with, go back to talking about drinks again, had a lot of y'all asking why I had drinks in my Rolodex. It may be a surprise to you, but I don't remember everything. And then I had children that took away more of my memory. And as a realtor, if y'all know anything about realtors, we can remember every house you've ever sold. Can't remember some people's names to save my life, but I can tell you where they live. I know where the master bedroom's located and what kind of kitchen they have when I sold it to them. It's kind of hilarious how life works at you that way. But also because I spent so many years bartending and waiting tables I can do this stuff in my sleep pretty much but I needed that Rolodex for you people that have weird requests 
I worked in a restaurant in college that had an interesting clientele after about nine o'clock at night because it was a ribs and wings restaurant. It was very attractive to the guys who ran the big game in Durham and they liked to drink zombies on the rocks. One of them did and his partner liked zombies straight up and they had a whole series of girlfriends and they tended to like strawberry daiquiris. So I will tell you why I was their favorite. I should probably not tell y'all this secret because now you will know all of my secrets. I don't have many if you know anything about me, but I would put a little extra rum down the straw of that strawberry daiquiri. So when those girlfriends took that first sip, oh honey, it was strong and they would always give me a, a good high five. They don't tip well, but you should know people in games are not known for being big tippers, but they were always kind to me and my nickname was Shorty back at that time. And I saw that Anne Marie was watching one of my videos and she got to giggling because she was one of my roommates in college. And she remembered the time the police came to our house at about 2 a.m. looking for this boy that I was dating at the time. I did not know what things he was up to after dark until the police came and informed me that he had been put into the clink. Anne Marie remembers that. It was a good time in our house. See, I probably shouldn't tell y'all every story in the world. This is probably why I was a bartender and not somebody who drank too much because I used to hear all the stories. <laughs> all of them. All right, so if you want to know what you're going to do next, after we get two cups of citrus juice and we've got that stuff down, you need to find a good mason jar. Actually, this is a ball jar, let's be honest. And we like ball brand. We're very brand conscious over here in my kitchen. And we're gonna put all of that sour mix in that ball jar. Friends, it's good for about two weeks. I mean, after that, you really don't want old sour mix, just like you don't want old simple syrup. But if you're smart, you'll fix some just in time for everybody to come over for your big Memorial Day barbecue. And I hope you're all going to have one because it is high time for us to have some in-person time with each other. And I'm sure you're tired of watching me do this now. It's not that hard. See, it was an easy recipe. If you want to know something else from my bartending days, you need to ask me and I will tell you. And otherwise, we'll see you next time on My Kitchen My Way. Probably should have just shown y'all the last step here. We're pouring the juice, lemons, and limes into the simple syrup. After it cools is when you put it in the mason jar. I know I probably shouldn't have to tell y'all everything, but just in case somebody out there is confused or needs more instruction, there you go. See you next time.